Hiya guys, West Country Explorer here and I'm off out and about in the countryside again today and this is another trig bagging video. I'm going to go looking for the trig point up at Hambleton Hill and also I'm going to be finding a stone circle. It's not an old stone circle, it's quite a modern one. Only 20 years old this particular stone circle but it's a stone circle nonetheless so there you go guys. A trick point and a stone circle, two for the price of one. Can't be bad. So, do you fancy coming along? It's a bright, sunny, beautiful day. Come and enjoy the sunshine with me. You know you want to. Alright, and here we are, guys. Pretty much straight away. Coming up to the stone circle. Now... Uh, I didn't make any notes about this stone circle. My thinking being, when I get here, I can just check on the internet and just do a quick read up on the information before recording. But unfortunately, when I got here, I can't access the website page that I wanted to. I don't know why. So what I'm going to do, guys, when I get home, I'll just put some information in the description. But here it is. So as you can see, we've got a outer circle of stones. We've got this little inner circle here. And we've got four lines of stones running between the outer circle and the inner circle. Like I said, I, I remember that it's only, it was only about 20 years ago that it was built. So, in the grand scheme of things, you could almost say this is a newborn baby if you can put use that kind of terminology with regards to stone circles I mean when you think of places like Stonehenge and the stone circles at Avebury that are like what four five thousand years old or however many thousands of years old they are you know 20 years compared to 5,000 years. <laughs> I wonder what people think about this particular stone circle in a few thousand years time. I mean, I suppose the difference between this stone circle and say Stonehenge is this stone circle We've got written records of why it was built, why, why it was made and all the rest. Well, like I said, Stonehenge, built thousands of years ago. We've got no written records of why it was built and all the rest. So, but that's one difference, you know, at least, at least in a few thousand years time, people have a better idea of what this stone circle is all about. There you go guys, there's that. And just over there, Hambledon Hill. So I'm going to go up there and bag myself a trick point. And I'm also going to do a separate video dedicated purely to Hambledon Hill itself. So you'll get a few shots of Hambledon Hill in this video, but this is mainly just a trick bagging vid. So there you go. That's where I've got to get to. One thing I probably should have said is the stone circle is just outside Child Oakford so if you want to come and see it that's pretty much where it is and there is public footpaths from there up to Hambledon Hill <laughs> I am on a public footpath at the moment but as you can see I'm walking through quite a few bits of crop and all the rest so yeah <laughs> quite in, quite interesting here coming through this field. Um, 
not sure what kind of crop it is but yeah <laughs> it's sort of overgrown the footpath a little bit so yeah but now you know where to come for the stone circle <laughs> and this is the footpath that I'm following so <laughs> quite nice nice beautiful countryside look at that guys Very nice indeed. I've got a co-worker, he's Bulgarian, and he said the Bulgarian countryside is a lot more beautiful than the English countryside. He sent me a few photos of like Bulgaria and all the rest, and it has got lovely countryside, I will admit. But, I don't know, I think Britain's got some absolutely stunning countryside and all the rest. So, uh, yeah. Anyway. Oh, I'm through the pot now. There we go. Right, so. This little bit's a bit easier. There we go, just follow this track up to that gate up there and then make my way up to Hambledon Hill to find the trick point. A little preview of the views from Hambledon Hill. If you want to see more of them, look out for my video, my main video on walking around Hambledon Hill. I think just over there is the trick point, so that's where I'm aiming for. But there, some lovely, lovely views from up here. It must be lovely to do something like that. Let's get up and enjoy the views. Lovely, lovely. I've pretty much finished recording and another one went up. So there's two of them now. I expect there might be possibly a few more going up in a minute. So as I was walking along, there's a group of them together. Well, there you go. Was it paragliding? Is that what it's called? I think, that's, I think it's called paragliding. Something like that. I'll have to double check. Here we have it. The trick point. There's Hambleton Hill over there. You can follow that footpath that eventually gets you down into how do you pronounce it? Um Iwern Courtney, also known as Shroton. It's got two names. I always know it as Shroton, easier to pronounce. Yeah, but there is a lead trick point. So that's another one bagged. And I am lagging a bit behind Open Minded Wanderer. She's, Clara's got quite a few more of the Wiltshire trick bags than I've got in Dorset. So <laughs> if I want to beat her, I've got to get a shifty on, bag a few more. <laughs> But there you go, there's that one. Number eight, I think this is for me. So, I think Clara's up to about 20. So yeah, getting right ahead of me. There we are. So, just a, another quick shot at some of the views. Some horsey horses over there, lovely horses. Yeah. Well, there you go, guys. Stone Circle and a trick point. Very enjoyable day coming out here. Been enjoying the views. Hope you've enjoyed coming along with me. Stay tuned for the next video, which is coming up very, very, very soon. It's going to be a 
sort of little stroll around Hambledon Hill itself where I'm showing off a lot more of the views. So yeah, keep your eyes open for that one guys. And yeah, hope you're getting lovely weather where you are and enjoying it. I'm, I tell you, I've done a lot of overtime recently, sort of a couple of overtime shifts. So I've done six days in a row, 12 hour shifts. So yeah, today I'm making the most of a day off and getting out and enjoying the sunshine. Well guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. Thank you for coming along. Look forward to seeing you in the next one. And in the meantime, the usual, stay safe, take care, and God bless.